What is going on guys? I welcome you all and I want to start off today's video a little bit differently. I want to start off covering something as quickly as humanly possible. It has to do with your own personal safety and the safety of your personal belongings. It has to do with this tiny ultra compact ultra portable flashlight and the fact that it's so freakishly powerful and it has such a high capacity that if you are transporting it in a duffel bag in your pocket in a tackle box in a glove box anything to do with not having a direct eye on it and it's not sitting in its magnetic holder, please be aware that it's capable of doing some personal harm or personal damage because you can get up to 190 degrees right off the face of this light. So if you accidentally bump it into its turbo mode, which is not all that likely because you have to double tap the button, you can facilitate a locking out tail cap just by turning it a sixteenth of a turn just like so. So with the light on, you can see the green LEDs indicating that's powered on a full blast or in any power and watch. No power going from the battery to the light itself. So if you're transporting this, if it's in storage, give it a quick turn. And if you see, it's still biting on this O-ring. So even almost a full turn later, it's still going to be fully sealed and waterproof. So if you are in a marine environment, if you're on a boat, all you have to do is just give it that, say, a quarter turn, and it's still going to be safe. It's never going to go off. I can hit the button as many times as you want. It's not going to melt your tackle boxes. It's not going to melt your book bag or your pockets, and you'll be safe and happy, and there's no chance of the battery draining due to accidentally igniting in your pack. Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all, and today's video is being brought to you in part by... Uh, the fact that I have some of the most abysmal night vision imaginable. Anybody that fishes with me at night regularly knows that the early goings of the evening hours, Scooby's got to take his time. Otherwise, Scooby's going to bust his ass. And God forbid somebody decides to uh, light up a headlamp and uh, blast me in the eyes with it. Uh, I get very angry and I have to go back to square one and wait for another hour for my eyes to adjust. Compound that, I wear contact lenses which have a slight blue tint that blocks even more light on top of my already bad night vision so I prefer having weapons of my own should some douchebag decide to light me up I can light them back with my HC90 night core of a thousand lumens of flood blasting night blasting uh, night vision destroying white light and then I can use the red light and light up blah 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 but this video is about night core the company Olight has reached out to me in the past uh, to review the product Basically, they reach out to me, hey, we have some lights that we want to offer you. If you can do the reviews, you can keep the lights, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I generally have ignored them in the past. Uh, I, not that I dislike Olight products. I've used their, their micro lights. This I store on with some of my surf bags, where I could just basically keep this in there. And if I need to see what's in my bag, I just kind of crank this light on. It's waterproof. It's sealed. It's held up for a couple years. I use their lithium cells and some of my other, other flashlights. But I just never like accepting stuff. So I was out on a tuna run the other other week, and my buddy has one of those pistol grip kind of looks like this, only it's like 12 billion candle power. And I got back from the tuna run, and I see that they sent me an email, wanted me to do a review on light, and I looked at their storefront, and they had this big hog of a flashlight, like 12 bajillion candle power lumens. And I was like, all right, let's see if they can send me that one. And I, I asked for that one, this Seeker 2 Pro, and the Warrior, and uh, unfortunately they didn't send me the big hog, they sent me <laughs> the Seeker 2 Pro. And I'm, I'm sort of glad that they did, because after putting a few nights on this already, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty impressive uh, light, without a doubt. So before I get into what you get for the package, the deal that they're running, the, uh, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty legit deal. For somebody who's bought a lot of high-end or mid-end LED flashlights, uh, the, the package price that they're running with this deal is, is, is pretty legit. But uh, yeah, so they gave me a 10% off coupon code. It's Tackle10. If you hit the link below, it's an affiliate link. I don't know what percentage they're paying me. It might be 5%. It'd be cool if they paid me 10%. But uh, yeah, they're probably paying me 5% on the affiliate link. So if you hit that link and you buy anything, I get a cut. And if you use Tackle10 as a promo code on their website, you'll save yourself 10 bucks, or sorry, 10%. And yeah, so. Let's get into this. This is this is cool. So if, if you saw, I got a cord attached to the tail cap, and I put this massive battery. This is a, a just your a a double A battery in comparison. This is an Amazon rechargeable. We'll get into more on that in a minute. Five thousand milliamp hour protective button cell, three point six volt. 
lithium ion battery, fully rechargeable. Now, a lot of other batteries and other lithium celled flashlights that I've used in the past, uh, here are a pair of Nightcore Chameleons. Same type of battery technology, they use their you know, 18650 lithium cells. Here's a generic one, which don't buy generic batteries, buy Panasonic's or name branded like Nightcore or Olight batteries. I've used a few of their, their, their Olight lithiums over the years and they've performed flawlessly. I have two in the truck right now actually. But same similar technology, but you have to have a charger for them. So that adds to the cost, adds to the inconvenience. Here's a 2600 milliamp hour night core, probably about a six year old battery back when, you know, 2600 milliamp hour batteries were like 30 bucks. And the lithium battery still lasts seemingly forever, years and years, lots of charges. So when you invest in a $100 flashlight or whatnot, and you have a lithium cell, those batteries are going to last a heck of a lot longer than your rechargeable double A's. So the way this works is lithium cells inside the flashlight. That's just how it's supposed to be. If you want to recharge it, they give you this USB magnetic charger, just like that. It doesn't get any easier. The other thing that's cool about it, I, you know, I even tried getting it wet and it didn't seem to throw an error or not charge when the connection area was hit with water, which is something that a cell phone will never do. So just keep that in mind. So even if your flashlight's a little wet, it'll still charge, which is cool, because I'm always on the water. And uh, you know, I get stuff in the car, and I want to charge it up, I just want to slap it on the charger, I'm good to go. Other thing that's pretty cool is, it comes with a little mount. Now they give you little screws for the mounting hardware. If you feel like mounting this by your front door, by your garage, boom, you're good. Just be wary, if this is a, a strong adhesive, it kind of peeled the back, and it's it's legit 3M. Don't put this on a painted surface, we should rip the paint right off. Just use the mounting screws that it came with, or just mount it to a, an actual light switch box. If you have a standard toggle switch, just mount it to the plate. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I thought that was neat. It's not metal, it's, it's, a, it's a good quality plastic, no ugly mold lines, so it's not gonna be offensive when you see it on the wall. And uh, yeah, so additional accessories that come with it. This is again, just the bare light. Comes with a not garbage flashlight holder. And it's not just relying on a Velcro or a snap to stay on your belt. They give it two separate belt loops. So you have a belt loop here and like a liar already. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I thought there was another one here so you can have it kind of hang low. My bad, but it gives you, if you want to run a lanyard up here, you have a little slot if you want to just kind of use like a pocket, like a carabiner clip kind of deal. So you can still secure it, or you can just hit a carabiner up here and still secure it. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a pretty legit pouch. It's not like a throwaway windbreaker you got at some traffic club meeting. Did I just prove my age? Saying a traffic club meeting? Man, you guys that are almost 40, your, your parents probably brought you as a child to some of those traffic club meetings. <laughs> so, here we have the light. This is the packaging. Uh, magnetic box, legit box. I usually don't care about packaging, usually more spent, I'd rather have more money spent on the product than the packaging. This, my friends, is the Seeker 2 Pro. Try that again. That's better. Seeker 2 Pro. This is their mint green color. It's being sold on a, pardon the pun, get ready for it, a flash sale. And it's gonna come in at, I believe, 108 bucks. And they're gonna be giving you this little machine aluminum beauty, single AA powered, lamp as well it's a freakishly bright light i'm not going to show you the bench how bright it is i got some i was on a baseball field lighting lighting the whole thing up the other night and filming it it takes my similarly priced when you have to go out and buy a battery and a charger chameleon lights which are rated at a thousand lumens and just it 
these are great lights. They they have they they've treated me well over the years. I love them. I'll never get rid of them. This thing makes it look like it's a it's a 20 year old mag light. I mean that's how bright this silly thing is. It's rated at over 3,000 lumens, and not only is it incredibly bright, it has a relatively wide beam pattern. It's three times wider than the beam pattern that the chameleons and some of the night core uh, torches offer. And it's brighter than this two lithium cell WowTac light that this company sent me to do a review on. And I told them to go F themselves after the thing was caught fire because this clicky button was, it was basically broken from the get-go. You just tapped it and it turned on. And yeah. So that brings me to a concern about this light. I'll show you some footage where I was just taking my, 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 my thermometer and taking a reading of how hot the surface was getting that the light was on. It approaches 200 degrees. I got a maximum temperature reading at 180 degrees, which was about that far from the object. That's hot. And the turbo mode on this thing, which is intelligently actuated by hitting the button twice, will get the torch itself down to this area pretty uncomfortable to hold if you hold it here you may get it get a mild burn <laughs> that's how hot this thing gets but it doesn't get that hot for very long because there's a heat temperature sensor that dims the light down to the third setting so you're not going to be running turbo mode for the entire duration of the charge of the battery and turbo mode will will drain this battery pretty quick uh, pretty quickly just to let you guys know uh, the three setting, so you turn the light on, hold it down to cycle through the settings. It's only going to go between settings one, two, and three. You can see the blinking green LEDs. All right, one, two, three. The three setting is probably going to be your most used, I need a decent amount of light setting. It'll light up a baseball field. Like, seriously, the infield of a baseball field will be easily viewed. You can see all the bases from home plate. Easily. Um, the two setting and one setting, really nice little feature. With the light off, press and hold. Two seconds, the button down goes into the, the dimmest mode on the light. Double click from off or from anywhere else. So if we're in the lowest setting... Double click. You gotta put your sunglasses on. Intelligently designed button. Now the freebie that comes with the flash sale deal, I, I I didn't dig the way it worked at first until I actually started using it, and it's not as intelligently designed as this. But any time you use this light, there's no chance that you're going to blind yourself with its maximum setting. There's zero possibility of accidentally going into a higher setting when you really want a low setting. All right. It's more of a yellow tinted light. Again, great for not producing distracting shadows at night. And if you want to go to its max 300 lumen, which is bright enough for, for most uses around the house, around the car, that kind of deal, you go off, on, on. So you go from off to on to off to on. And that's its maximum brightness setting. It's pretty bright. It's not going to really do any damage to your, your night vision if you get hit from 10 feet away with somebody shining in your eyes. This thing, <laughs> this thing will just knock you unconscious. If you want to give somebody a stroke, go ahead and uh, wait for it. One, two, three. And it's a... It's not a super rapid strobe. It's a kind of a pulsing strobe, which is different. I have never had a need for a strobe light, to be honest, but it's got it. So yeah, that, better, that pretty much rounds out everything to know about the, the functionality and what you get with this light. Um, they have an accessory that I bought because one cool thing that I like using with my fully sealed waterproof lights like this Nightcore and this Olight is I'll hang them about two feet below whatever watercraft I'm in, a float tube, a kayak, a center console, a boat. And this will function as a bait light. 
So I ordered one of these. They, they, they didn't have these to send me. I ordered it the second they said they were sending me this light. And I can crank that full blast. It's, it's meant for a crossing guard type situation. And uh, I just plan on leaving it on the three setting and dropping it down for a couple of hours. And uh, attracting bait fish and all that kind of good jazz. So I thought that was pretty cool to do have a traffic wand attachment. I will go ahead and hit it with some Marine 5200, which is what you see here. So if you ever plan on doing something like this, uh, this light I had to drill a hole to allow water in. Otherwise, it's going to float awkwardly. This one has the open uh, nose of the cone. Uh, but Marine 5200, this has been used probably, I don't know, taken on and off a couple hundred times, thousand times, I don't even know. It's starting to wear off, but it stays good. And it makes for a good connection point. Whereas this one, it's on there. If I'm just going like this, but if it's heating up and cooling off in the water, all that kind of jazz, I, I'd rather have more of a, a flexible seal to hold that in place. Now, another thing I want to touch on with this little guy there are lamps out there that don't like the 1.2 volt rechargeable double A's. This is a 1.5 volt super alkaline, the GM, I don't even know who that is. Comes with it though, and it works. There's your dim setting. There's your bright setting. Works flawlessly with the rechargeable. Uh, this is an Amazon Basics. I like the Loops as well. So, should you not have a supply of Duracells or whatever energizers and you only keep the rechargeables. Uh, and if you're like me in the past, who've used three AAA batteries or triple AAA battery uh, flashlights, uh, you've run into the issue where you can't get the power on because the voltage is too low. Not the case with a single AA. So yeah, let's go ahead and see how this thing fires at night. It's freakishly bright. Um, I definitely recommend it if you guys need a long range wide beam pattern compact light and again it's five inches long i it's 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 pretty impressive it really is regardless of the fact the company gave it to me for free and they wanted to, they're hoping for a positive review if things if things thing if things thing burned out <laughs> it would have been a hilarious review if you want to see me rip on a company who sent me a product to review check out the danforce review where the company's motto was groundbreaking a tenrion to detail they spelled groundbreaking wrong and they spelled attention wrong <laughs> in the company's uh they said the company the, there was a usa made in usa light and it, it wasn't obviously there's a million companies out there that marketed the same thing oh god i took a dump on that company they did not like me for that they definitely did not like me for that after <laughs> but check that one out it's pretty funny so with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, and here's me acting like an idiot. Uh, a, pl a police officer st uh, stopped by, but he didn't get out of the car. I don't think he wanted to do any wanted anything to do with whatever it was I was doing out on the baseball field last night. I don't know if you thought I was trying to contact aliens with this silly bright torch or what. I don't know. But uh, I figured for sure he was going to come by and I was going to have a conversation. I'm trying to sell him a secret tube problem at the same time. But yeah. And until next time, guys. Enjoy. Home plate is right there. This is the minimum brightness setting. Second setting out of four. Third setting. and max. It almost lights up the entire field from 15 feet behind home plate. I'm going to keep aiming at second base. I'm going to turn the camera. You can see down the first baseline. I can barely make out the first base bag with my naked eye. I don't think it's showing up on the viewfinder, it's barely showing up. I'm going to rotate down the third base line. Same thing, I'm aiming the light towards second base. I'm now going to aim down the third base line. You can clearly see the bag. Just trying to make sure that the viewfinder is accurate to what I'm seeing. 
impressive. Now, it's been on turbo for about a minute or two, and you definitely do not want to be touching this. It's going to be getting very hot all the way through here. The longer it stays at the max setting, the more the heat is going to radiate through here almost into the grip. So the turbo setting can be used for an extended period, but you're going to have to be wary of where you hold the light. Again, five inches, extraordinarily bright. Now for the little guy. Lowest setting, one click. And two clicks, the high setting. One AA battery, not too shabby. I'm aiming at the pitcher's mound, and I can barely make out second base. This is about four feet in front of home plate. The camera is four feet off the ground, standing on home plate. This is the Nightcore Chameleon. on its highest setting. Gonna bring in the Seeker 2 Pro, highest setting, two clicks from off. Thousand lumens, 900 and change, 3000 and change significant difference in overall brightness and color temperature. I prefer a warmer yellower uh, light at night. For some reason I find the cooler lights create more shadows. So if there's an object blocking where the beam is going it'll create a more pronounced shadow whereas with a yellower light it will not. Now this is again my HC90 headlamp. Maximum brightness again has that yellowish light. 900 and change lumens full power. And the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. This HC90 headlamp is no slouch. It's in my opinion the best to most versatile headlamp on the market. The Seeker 2 Pro matches it in the width of the beam pattern, the color temperature that I prefer. The only difference is the headlamp has multiple colors for so restoring and preserving night vision, green, blue, and red. And I've asked Nightcore, or I should say I've, been, I've asked Olight to incorporate multiple colored LEDs to preserve night vision in their headlamps. Now, regardless of the fact that Olight sent me this flashlight for free in exchange for me to do a review and publicize and promote so they can sell more flashlights, and I accepted, uh, it's, it's tough to argue that this thing isn't an impressive little tool. And with great power comes great responsibility, and one thing I want to point out, this may look like your standard LED flashlight from you know any brand name on planet Earth, do keep in mind one thing. So I'm going to fire it up, but before I do, I want to get a base temperature. So 78.2 is ambient. That's the the temperature of my work surface. And if you see these little Cheerios, that's just from the light itself being shown on my cutting mat. Now cutting mats melt pretty low temperature. They're kind of a self-healing thing, but I'm going to fire up at full blast. You can see full battery charge. And four uh, lights blinking on the left means it's it's in its turbo mode. 
And uh, we're going to go ahead now and start recording the temperature. And take note of where I'm holding. I'm holding it like this. I'm going to hold it like that for as long as I can. I just want to make sure I'm aiming my thermometer in the right spot and it shows up on camera. I had to remove my ring finger off of the flashlight because it was getting too hot. My middle finger is now getting really hot. <laughs> my thumb is starting to heat up a little bit. Hey, I gotta remove my middle finger now. It's getting real hot. Now if I get the flashlight down about an inch above the mat, angled perfectly, let's see if we get straight up and down. You could see 150, 160, 170. Wow, that's climbing quick. My thumb is now starting to hurt pretty bad. I want to see how hot this thing really gets. 